Hello. A nuestros amigos from all over the world, welcome to Patricio's and Eva Tango Class. Y ahí es Patricio and I'm Eva. Hola. <laughs> Professional MC presenter. Fantastic. And today we have another class about the classic tango figures. Very important this one, guys, because this is the class represents this country that actually helps you to move to the next level. Because why? La Americana. La Americana. La Americana, what happened with the Americana? La Americana, we need to start turning around each other and this is a very important component in tango. We are turning around all the time. So, that's why it makes it so special and important for you to learn. Qué rosor. Muy bien, you muy, are very right. Muy rosada estoy hoy. Muy Salida rosada. Americana. La Americana is uh, something that, that, like the word indicates, comes from America. The Americana. The Americana is the American style. So when Argentinians saw how Americans were doing it, they would say, oh, let's, that's the American way. And what it means is that both dancers step with the leg through the center. This way. See, this is traditional in the American standard tango. Yeah. And it started out as a... I would say as a form of tango, as a, as, a, as a variation of the Argentine tango originally, and then it came back to it from America, as, an, as the American way, right? So it percolated into American dance, then it came back into Argentine tango as the Americana. The same way in Europe during World War II, the, America, the American soldiers were asked for coffee with water, then that became the Americano, the Americano coffee. So instead of espresso, it's more diluted. And here, the dancers go back, side, turn sideways, and share that entrance, sharing the position, and that is the American. And we need have to share this because it's in relation to Patricio. If you didn't understand the concept yet, you know when everybody you say, I dance tango, you talk about tango, what is that everybody imagines about tango? People with the rows and dancing like this towards the camera. Yes. You know, like that's the image that people have about tango. Yes. And it's because the Americana, mm -hmm. I mean, the, the entrance, how we... Yes. Absolutely. So that's, Even the cartoons do it. Yes. So that's, the, the, that's why it's called like that. But... The, the beauty of it goes beyond its name. Uh, the beauty of it is that it's a perfect movement to initiate a lot of figures. Correct. Turns, leg wraps, uh, enganches, uh, legs on the hip. I mean, so many things can come out of that initiation of the Americana. Um, it happens when both dancers step through the center and go into the same direction, let's say like in a front ocho. That's the Americana. See, it's... There, both dancers stepping through the center. Like a mirror. It's like a mirror. It's like a mirror a, position. If you exactly. were in a mirror and you were doing this movement and the, the, your reflection will be doing exactly the same as you. So it's like a mirror thing. That's right. So we step to the side. And as I do this step to the side, I kind of push my partner's shoulder away a little bit. And with the hand, with my right hand, my right elbow, I rotate her torso clockwise a little bit. I do that while we do the side step, so my partner has already a hint of what's gonna happen in the next step. This is one, two. See, it's a two-step process. One, two, and then in that position, we begin our turn. So for the lead, the movement is specific. If you go back, you don't worry about it. You begin worrying about the side step. Because obviously you will be doing something. You will be connecting this with something else. So your last step is the side step. And then you begin counting the movement, the initiation of this movement, as you pivot and you present your foot. Now notice that as I place my foot in front, I do a crossbody position. So I orient my front towards my partner. And then I do... This is position one. 
This is position two where I have a split weight and this is position three. At this point I go three and four and this will match your movement around me. So we will do a side step, pivot, present our my foot. My right foot is in front, my weight is entirely on my left foot, my right foot is forward. You see this? As I bring my partner onto a side step, I split my weight. As I bring my partner onto a back step, I keep rotating my body and I have my weight entirely on my right foot now and my left foot is ready to do the lapis. And we go three and four. And on five, I will step and finish. You're already doing your part. <laughs> One, two, three, and four. And then tango close. Tango close, I like to call the last three steps of the basic step. For those of you who know what the basic step is, you can watch it now or you can click here and watch the video. So, I don't know if this is there yet, but I might put it later. <laughs> One, two, three. I always tell my students who come to the studio for private lessons, launch your lapis on three and four. Then six, seven, and eight. What I mean by three and four is as the follow steps onto the back. If you launch your lapis early, your partner will be here and you will put your foot back and you will lose balance. Very important, yes. So one, two, three, and four, five, six, and seven. Now the follow does a turn around the lead in five steps or four beats. One, two, three, and four. Now, as she brushes through here, here we encounter each other again, and then we finish. We encounter each other again as we do on position five of the basic step. For example, one, two, three, four, five. You see here, I have my left foot forward, six, seven, eight. Meaning, we enter the Americana, we pivot and do the lapis, and right here we are again in position five, six, seven, eight. That is the way we connect things. And it's very important he say position five because many times, and maybe if we're paying attention so far, I go through that position through the cross, which is going to be position five in the basic ste step structure. So this is um, an option for the follows, and I want you to have this as another way of, you see the cross? Okay, can we do the Americana now? In the Americana, when we finish the Americana after this step here, I can drag my foot to that cross before I keep moving out of the Americana. So, if I have the feel that we are exiting that turn, I might very well, from that spot, drag this foot like going to the cross. This is position five, but I don't change weight. The same leg I cross behind, I keep pulling away from myself to do the resolution. Okay, that's what Patricio calls the tango close. Yeah? Yes, yeah, six, so. seven, and eight. So let's give people a uh, uh, detail of the footwork. Okay. I, will do, I will begin with my part. Position one, this is my right foot in front. Position two, or step number two of my partner on the turn, side step, I'm on a split way. Position three, you have to have tolerance to stay in this position. Your body is winding up at this point. And after you see that three, you pivot, swing your lapis, bring it all the way back, brush. And at this position, you will either aim for a parada or possibly continue Pushing. to the resolution 678. Pushing off. Yeah, yeah, would you like to do your part? Yes. So my part will be from the side step here. 
I will turn and usually the Sebas position say we might have the feel already of going opening with that leg here if they turn us already. And from this position we are going to go front, pivot, side, pivot, back, side, front. And here we can decide, depending on what they do, we can either go flex together and exit. Six. Seven, eight. Or I got back after the turn, passing through the cross here and exit. Six, seven, eight. Okay? That's correct. Great job on the cameras, the director here. I think it's time to do a demonstration so people can have an idea what this looks on the dance floor. Let's go for it. Corazón, me estás mintiendo, corazón, ¿por qué lloras? Si me ves que estoy muriendo de esta pena tu compás Y sabes que la es mía que otro brazo se entregó No desmayes todavía, se constante como yo Dame tu ladrido, el yo quiero arrancar Muy bien. Bueno, decirle a la gente... Decirle a la gente, ¿qué le voy a decir a la gente? A la gente le voy a decir, guys, if you like what we do, what we share with you, please consider donating to Venmo or PayPal. You can see the description here. We really appreciate your help. It keeps us going. It keeps us sharing with you all the tango you know and we love so much. So, thank you for your support and... Well, if you cannot donate, or if you donate and you wanted to help us even more, like, subscribe to our channel, or comment to, in our videos, okay? We read all the comments, we love them. Thank you so much. Okay, I wanted to say something before we move forward about the turn in itself. Because the Americana is a very classic tango figure, obviously that one is in this um, uh, in this uh, session of our um, um, 
sharing with you all these, uh, I don't remember the names, we put together all of these ideas, you know, so you can actually search for what you like and have quick access to them. So, about the churn in itself, I know I talked to it about it not long ago, and one of the things that I kind of point out and I wanted to be more aware, this is for the follows, okay, is the moment that you go from the back step to the side step. To take that step, own that step, go for that step, and don't shortcut that step um, and do a smaller, tiny, shy step in that side step. I wanted to show you this, and probably you will kind of recognize what I'm talking about, but very often time, when the follows go for a molinete, the side step is kind of an existent here. We just put the legs together and we go for the next step. Okay, this is just a reminder for you that we want to activate this side of our, our legs, these, all these muscles here, you know, to actually open and go, open and go. You know, I feel that sometimes followers have a tendency to kind of fall sideways for some reason that I don't know, probably just because you just don't know how to do it, but to kind of do this, you know, like open the leg to go sideways. Okay, so that's the main, main thing I wanted to share during the Molinete, you know, so forward, side, back, side, yes. forward. You the, will not the, stop there and it's a quick step. And the reason why I think it happens is because it's quick, so we kind of, kind of skip it, you know, like it's quick, so we, I need to hurry. And we don't actually do it, I would say. Okay? It changes the geometry of the turn. If you have four steps around the lead, or five in this case, you are doing one, pivot two, pivot three, four, and five. So you're doing a square plus one side. So if you, instead of stepping back and side, you transfer your way and you collect, you are turning 90 degrees less. So if the lead is expecting you at the end of 360 degrees, you're actually doing 270. So you're stealing away from the turn. Then that's when you could get kicked and things don't match. Uh, so, yeah, that's a very good point. What I can say for the lead is that he has to have tolerance and stay in the pivot. One, two, three, and then launch your lapis. Because when you launch your lapis on, uh, on her back step, back side, on the transition, back side, then your leg is out of the way. And very important for the lead to do a semicircle off the hip, sometimes a little bit more. So it's very important that you go from the foot in front of you. You see, my foot is in front of my face. I don't start the, the, the lapis here. The beauty about the lapis or the pencil, like we call it in English, is that you draw a nice circle shape uh, as you rotate. So if you start there over here, you only have a quarter of a turn. You want to maximize the amount of the circumference the amount of, of rotation that you do to make a bigger circumference. So if you start late, uh, the last bit, you have a little circle back there. Or if you cut it too soon, you go over there. So it's nice to try to do a full circle and then time that with your pivot. So this will go one, two, three, and four, five. So it looks like it's fluid, like there is no stops. Exactly, like a match, match the amount of movement that your, the follow is doing, basically. Like you match that timing, that's what you mean. Yes, yeah. and as the follow steps forward, uh, out of a front step, uh, you, you guys can think, of what are the common denominators? What are all those places in which the follow steps from there? So if the follow step is in a front ocho, how many figures do have a front ocho built in? For example, like we did a few a times. We did a front, uh, a back boleo, and back boleo is finished with the front ocho, which has the perfect mesh to combine with the Americana, you see? Mm -hmm. We are using a back ocho because it leads into a back boleo. That back boleo because it leads into a front ocho. Now, notice here how I lead Eva to, to go turn, and I lead her a little bit down and a little bit forward, but I don't push her a lot forward, otherwise her weight will go in. I want to hold this back 
You see, so there is this aerial space where my partner can turn and then I move on to it. Now I'm moving away from this side so Eva can use the space. And here I am waiting for a possible parada. Or if we do it without anything, it will be the lapis brushing through the resolution and then finishing. Mwah. You do this movement so well. <laughs> I mean, all movements you do so well. Thank you. If I will kiss you every time we do a nice move, I will kiss you all day long. What do you say, DJ? Yes. Oh, it's time to dance again. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. <laughs> uh huh. Okay, Nido Gaucho. Nido Gaucho is a good tango. Okay, yes. Ready? Nido yes? Gaucho, yes. Luciendo su color de esperanza, viste el campo su plumaje y el viento hace vibrar su cordaje en los pastos y en la flor. Yo tengo mi ranchito en la loma donde tanguito para terminar el jueves a la noche. ¡Hermoso! Gracias. Gracias por estar del otro lado de la pantalla y nos vemos la próxima semana. Los queremos. Muchas gracias. More tango next week. See you again. Thank you. Okay, so